Hi, I'm Gary Kell from Snohomish County PUD. And I work, in the, uh, I work in the safety department. I deal a lot with uh, uh, electrical situations with our customers, uh, accidents, accident investigation. Um, so that's what I want to talk to you about this morning, some of the situations that you could find yourself in uh, during storms with down power lines, uh, coming too close to our equipment. And I'm going to take you through some scenarios that are going to demonstrate that. I wanted to talk to you about the amount of power that's coming from our little model here. It's 15,000 volts, so it's not a toy, but it's a great demonstration tool to show you some of the things that can happen if you come in contact with, with electricity. Right here, this is an example of a downed power line that we, we received in an area where there's a lot of sand, dirt, and gravel. And as it starts to cook, and it starts to arc and spark, it cooked this sand, dirt, and gravel, and it formed this particular rock right here. To do this, it gets between approximately three and 5,000 degrees of heat. Now you can imagine if you were touching that, just like you see the arc right here with your hand, it would do possibly a lot of damage. Electricity travels, as it can travel as fast as the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. Now, to demonstrate that, electricity always wants to go to ground. Now right now, you can't hear any arcing, sparking, or anything like that. That's why when there's a down power line, you should never go near it, touch it, because this is what you could possibly experience. Now, right now, it's quiet, yet it's extremely hot. Electricity always wants to go to ground. This is a good example of how it wants to go to ground. And this is what happened in this customer situation. He went out into the garage. He went to pick up a tool that he forgot, came out of the garage. His first step on the ladder was fatal. And uh, he received immediately 7,200 volts of electricity. Okay, one of the things that you've got to be aware of, um, there's, a, there's a state rule that mandates that when you come near our distribution lines that you stay 10 feet away with any equipment. That's ladders. That can be any boom trucks, anything that will get close to the lines has to be 10 feet away. If it's not, um, you're endangering your life and the lives of others because um, if you do make contact with a piece of equipment, it will go to ground and anybody on the ground can also be electrocuted. So you want to make sure that you're definitely clear and absolutely, I would suggest, more than 10 feet away from those power lines. Electricity can be quiet. It doesn't have to arc. It doesn't have to spark. However, as you can see right here, it is extremely hot. As you can see here, I'm not even touching the line. I'm about a quarter of an inch away from it, and it is still arcing and going to ground. So as you watch when I go this way, it won't even touch the line. It'll just arc. That's why they stress the need for the 10-foot rules to make sure that you absolutely stay 10 feet away or more. Um, I've got a demonstration of a kite in my office where the kite string is fully engulfed in flames all the way down to the hand. Because again, anything that travels as fast as the speed of light um, can travel extremely quick uh, to where your hands would be because, it's, as you know, electricity always wants to go to ground. Now, through this scenario, I want to show you how quickly this, can, this is really a good example of electricity going to ground. And as you see it here, it doesn't have to arc, it doesn't have to spark, but you can see it going to ground. Here we've had a situation where a car has slammed into the utility pole. Uh, the wire has come down, it's laying over the vehicle. Now, remember, electricity always wants to go to ground. Uh, and it's a lazy electricity. It doesn't want to go inside the vehicle, it'll go to the outside and down. The people inside the vehicle are safe, but it's the first responder. It could be a police officer, it could be a fireman, it could be you as a, uh, a responder who witnesses the act. Everybody wants to come out and help. So as our first responder comes out to help, he tries to get the people out, and the next thing you know, he's receiving 7,200 volts of electricity. But keep in mind that the person inside the vehicle is like a bird on the wire. As a bird lands on the wire, he's not grounded, either is the person inside the vehicle, so they're safe. 
you take a rock and throw it into a lake, you get these little circles in the lake or in the water that will go out about you know, 20 feet. The same thing happens with a down power line on the ground. So quite often, this individual here, this first responder, wouldn't even be able to get this far. He could be electrocuted prior to even getting to the vehicle and, and electrocuted. So again, you really want to be aware of the situation that you're in, particularly at night. Our lines are dark at night. You can't see them. You just want to take uh, every caution, precaution you can to make sure that you don't touch these lines or even get close to the, to the down power lines. I just want to reemphasize the fact that you want to do everything you can to stay away from power lines. Don't get close. Don't you know, make contact in any way with any equipment. Do everything that you can. If you're not sure about a situation, stay away. Stay away and stay alive. That's the best recommendation I can give you. Thank you.